Now, after I watched Jackass's Bad Grandpa, I was like, you know what? Having a grandpa like Johnny Knoxville would be so cool. I mean, just think about it. Your old grandpa hitting on women and, you know, doing whatever the hell he wants. He doesn't give a damn. Yeah, that'd be a badass grandpa to have. <laughs> So Bad Grandpa is the new installment in the Jackass franchise. It's not about all the guys from Jackass doing stunts and all. It's about actually the character that John Knoxville created, Bad Grandpa. Now, I always liked Bad Grandpa in the Jackass movies. You know, he was always funny. He really stood out. His scenes were really funny when they put him in the Jackass movies. So I was like, you know what? An entire base movie on him? That could be really funny. I was really looking forward to it because I really like the Jackass movies. I remember watching the Jackass show. It was fun and entertaining to watch. The first three Jackass movies I really enjoyed. They're funny, they're cool to watch. So of course I wanted to see Bad Grandpa. And I'll tell you right now, Bad Grandpa is really funny. Now one thing I want to tell you though, before I go in depth with my review, I noticed that this movie plays out different from the Jackass movies. You know how the Jackass movies, it wasn't about a story, it was just them doing stunts? Well Bad Grandpa actually has a story. I know people are like, what story? But like the whole story is about Bad Grandpa, you know, his wife dies and he's got to take care of the kid that he has in the movie. And the little kid in the movie, he wasn't annoying, you know, he was actually a lovable kid. Like if someone says, why is he like this? Because that's how he is, he's a badass. The kid and Bad Grandpa, they really connected well. And I'm going to tell you right now, John and Maxwell, who plays the Bad Grandpa, he really does a good job. I mean, you buy the fact that he's an old grandpa. I mean, he really deserves a lot of credit because he's not just some guy who does stunts and jackass. He deserves a lot of credit. And so does the kid. He was really, really hilarious. Yes, there is a story between the grandpa and the kid and how it evolves around it. I mean, they still do their stunts, but it's not like jackass where they jump off and, you know, porty potties and have, you know, crap in them. Since it is taking a story arc, is the story good? In a way, it's pretty much, yeah, it's a good, okay story. I like the story that they did for Bad Grandpa because, you know, that's necessarily the story you need to go for Bad Grandpa. Did the trailer give away too much because it usually happens in a Jackass movie? It sort of does, but it doesn't give you everything. And I'm telling you, the movie's hilarious. I'm telling you right now, get a group of friends and just go watch Jackass Bad Grandpa. It is hilarious. It's such a fun movie to watch. And I also liked that they were taking this film in a new direction. You know, it wasn't just about stunts. They went towards a more story arc direction. Overall, the Jackass Bad Grandpa is a funny, hilarious new installment of the Jackass franchise. I want to say this one stands out in the Jackass franchise. It does because it's so different from the other ones. I'm going to give Jackass a Bad Grandpa a B plus. It is a fun movie to watch. Get a group of friends. Watch it. Have some fun you'll have an entertaining, awesome, fun time. So that's my review for Jackass Bad Grandpa, guys. Thank you so much for watching my video. And have a nice day. <laughs>